Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day, and it's Wednesday, and that means... It's Amanda and Diane's Knit Along. <laughs> <laughs> Our knitting friend, Pat Hughes, she's been busy. For those of you who can't keep house plants alive, check this out. Knitted plants. <gasps> you oh. can't kill them. They don't need any watering, and if you get tired of them, it's time to unravel and make them into something else. I didn't even think about the unraveling thing. It's kind of like growing a new plant besides the sun, water, fertilizer. All you need is, you know, the skill and the needle. She sent me these pictures and a couple of them, I was like, is that, I thought it was really a plant right. at first. And you weren't the only one. Our friend Megan, she also crochets here in the mm -hmm. newsroom and she was like, I thought those were real when she <laughs> saw them How in, great. Our, in our chat. Super cute. Yes. You guys are always doing some really, really great projects. We love to see them, keep them coming. Yes, and of course, uh, you can share those on our social media pages. You can uh, Facebook. Uh, my page is uh, Meteorologist Diane Phillips. Amanda Fay, anchor reporter, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's our information there. Make sure you uh, send us uh, your projects. Okay, so you know, Diane, how family members ask what you might like for your birthday mm -hmm. or your mother or Mother's Day, and you think, yeah, I'll get that. Yes, and did you get that? I did not. Oh. But I got perfume and I was very happy with the perfume because I needed it and my husband actually got the bottle out of the trash to figure out what kind he needed to get and took it to the store. Okay. So I was impressed by that. Okay. But I All did <laughs> I did ask for some knitting accessories and which I did not get, so I had to go shopping. For those of you who have been watching and are wanting to learn how to knit, we have you covered. I visited Chickadee Knit Studio in Perrysburg to find out what accessories you need to get started. I'm new to the game here and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still learning quite a bit mm -hmm. and one of the things that I have found is I need more accessories. I need more tools to go along with just my knitting needles and my yarn. So talk me through some of the items you think are kind of must-haves for folks who are just getting started with knitting. You need little sharp snips that aren't used for anything except snipping the ends of your yarn. These are really cool and very, very funky cool as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what are these here? So those are, they're called chibi needles. They're tapestry, tapestry needles. And they have a little hook at the end. They're great for weaving in your ends, sewing your garments together. Um, sometimes you can use them in a pinch as a cable needle. So they're definitely a must have. What is this? This looks like a, a, like a small crochet. Hook here. What, what, so what it's is a crochet this? needle on, or a crochet hook on one end and mm -hmm. a knitting needle on the other. Okay. And it's called a handy tool and it's great for fixing mistakes, picking up stitches that somehow got lost, um, grabbing something quickly with the needle until you can figure out how to fix it. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a great tool. It's a handy tool. A handy tool for <laughs> beginners like me who are making lots of mistakes, right. but I can fix them and right. make these things still work. Okay, I like, gotta okay, I gotta get that one for sure. Uh, this looks like something that you would definitely need uh, with to help with measurements. Right. So you use it's very important that you knit to a specific gauge. So mm -hmm. this helps you count the stitches that are in a four inch swatch mm -hmm. um, but this particular one is great because it has a needle gauge mm -hmm. often you don't know what size needle you have in your hand right. so that helps it gives a, a little example of different yarn weights mm -hmm. so you can see whether what you're using is appropriate for the needle that you're using mm -hmm. um, and it's a nice sturdy one that's that's a good tool and then this looks like a counter right so that's a clicky row counter so you can keep track of where you are in a pattern and that's a good one because it's lockable. Mm -hmm. So if oh. little hands come along and want to see what the clicker is. Mm -hmm. My four-year-old? Can't change the number. Perfect, mm -hmm. because I do feel like she gets very interested mm -hmm. in what I'm working on. And last but not least, I see <laughs> every knitters have these all over the place. Stitch markers for everyone. <laughs> so you can never have too many stitch markers and yet, you'll never have one when you need it. <laughs> um, so this is my favorite kind. They're lockable. Okay. So you can slide them on your needles in the locked position, or you can put it through the fabric that you've knitted mm -hmm. to keep track of, say, what's the right side or where is the color change. Um, and they're just indispensable 
and they're everywhere. Just buy them by the handful. That's right. Just, uh, and have them in your bag. That's right. So that hopefully you can exactly. keep track of everything. Great. So exactly. this is a great little starter kit for people who are getting into knitting. Absolutely. Very good. Okay. And of course, um, you have all other kinds of items for folks who, whatever their needs are. Well, it's a whole thing. So the longer you knit, the more you'll say, oh, that's a cute bag. Mm -hmm. Or I don't have scissors exactly like this. Or look at these cute little stitch markers <laughs> with beads on them. And you'll just go from there. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll have to come visit uh, in Perrysburg. Yes, please very, do. Very good. All right. Well, thanks for joining us this morning. And I think I got some shopping to do. So I did go shopping. I, 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 I got. I think I got everything that I needed. Um, she, Chris, and her, at her store had these cute little macaroon cases. They're little macaroons, and that's what um, I'm holding my stitch markers in. They're it's, little, it's a little macaroon. It's so cute. How cute is that? Yeah. And one other thing that I picked up too um, was a, a measuring tape. You have yeah. to have one. And of this those. one's cute. It's a little bear. <laughs> Oh, no. Like she said, everything is cute, so you just keep adding to the collection. And yeah. I also want to point out that the sweater she was wearing, she hand knit that. Of course. It looked so yes, bought. It was I know. that, you know, beautiful. So well done yeah. to that. And yeah. uh, what, what street is she on? Okay, so she is, she's in downtown Perrysburg behind Oh Dear, Di oh Dear Diner in Shimas, like in the, in the alley, but she's moving uh -huh. in a few weeks. So she's okay. just moving really across the street near Indiana and Louisiana in downtown. So she's right there uh, in a uh, to be in downtown Perrysburg. So check her out, Chickadee Knit Studio. Yeah, yeah, sounds like we're gonna have to be uh, going on a road trip yeah. here in a couple weeks. And uh, uh, have you started your, your new project? No, so now I got my accessories. I don't have any excuses left. So we'll see what I start next. And we'll, of course, we'll bring you up to speed next week. In the meantime, of course, drop your, your projects on our pages. Yes, yeah. of course, yep, social it. media. And you can also mail. We've gotten some uh, letters in the mail yes. as well. So uh, we feel love free that. to reach out to us, all of it online, on yeah. the paper. We you know how it. to get us. Yeah, get in touch with us. All right, there's more WTOL 11 Your Day to come. We're back in just a moment. Stay with us.